Hey, how's it going? This is Rel from Showtime on the server StormRage US. What I got here today is a quick and simple walkthrough of how to easily and successfully import a string on weak auras. So the first step is to download the add-on if you have not already. You can download it from curse.com searching the term weak auras 2. I will also have the link in the description below. Now, after you have the add-on either in your interface folder or automatically downloaded from the client, you can open it up in-game with the command slash wa. Once open, you will see a slew of options to create different auras, and the blank column to your left will be the area your auras are saved to after you create them. It won't be blank if you already have this add-on, though. Creating one or modifying one can be quite difficult, so we will just stick to the import option at the bottom. So after clicking this, you will see a blank area pop up. This is where you will paste the string that you copied from the forms. And a little pop-up will appear after you paste it. This is not the string. You'll get an error if you don't import the correct stream. <laughs> string, excuse me. One second. There we go. It'll be a series of uh, numbers and letters. And I also just entered this wrong. So this is the error you get if you enter it wrong. Always learning. One second. Make sure you copy and paste the entire string. Don't miss any of it or you'll get that error. There we go. This is what it's supposed to look like. Once you have this screen, you just click import. Do not click done. Once clicked import, it'll come up in the not loaded tab and I'll speak about that in a second. Click the view tab and you can see it pop. You can see what it looks like popping up in the middle. Now if you want to move it, you just click this lock, you move it to where you want it on the screen. I would like mine in the corner right here. Easily noticeable during raid. Alright, so the reason it's highlighted under not loaded and not, not on the loaded column is because of its loadout options. Now if you look here, it says in combat. This will only load when you're in combat, which is a given. It'll also only load when you're in the zone high mall due to multiple mobs in uh, World of Warcraft also sharing the same ability, Gushing Wounds. So it'll only load during high mall, so you won't get it during any small mob encounters. And all of these are specific for other things. So once you have it right here, you're set to go. All you have to do is just exit out, and once the fight begins, and you get gushing gushing wounds on you. Hold on. Here we go, gushing wounds. The butchered blades cause the victim to bleed profusely for physical damage for 15 seconds. If the victim reaches five stacks, they will perish instantly. That's kind of bad. So we'll have three groups, and once you see your stacks going up right here, it'll say out. The red thing will say out. Just like that, it'll say out. Once the stacks fall off, it'll have a check mark in. So you'll be good to come back in. That's the utility of this add-on. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment on the forums or below the video posted. I'll check them frequently. Thank you very much.